there are schools out there that will filter you out if you don't have any shadowing. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Dr. Gray. Awesome. How are you? I'm wonderful. How can I help you? Um, so um, I, I have already applied uh, for this cycle. Um, I Actually, this is my second application cycle. Um, my primary application has been verified, verified just today, so I'm happy. To, uh, great. To, um, so I'm happy to see that. Yeah, so the only question, uh, well, well, not the only question. I have a couple of questions. So um, I have had this um, um, how can I, disability. Um, even as a child, I, I have some you know, stuttering um, when I talk. Um, so I was wondering if, if this is a huge red flag for any medical schools. Um, so my so my dad he was a stutter as well, and then he was a primary care doctor in 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 Burma actually. So I got this, yeah, from from seeing him work. Like I was, um, I was actually encouraged. Uh, yeah. Look, I, communication is key to being a physician, right? You, you have to be able to communicate with colleagues, with patients, with family, with with everyone. And talking to you right now, you communicate just fine. You have a stutter. The That's president right. of the U.S. has a stutter. He makes it work. He, he, has, he has figured out ways of communicating, and he knows what kind of words and, and letter uh, sounds cause a stutter for him, and he avoids those types of things. And I'm sure you have done that as well in your life. And, and so it's just, it is what it is. Uh, I, I think you'll be perfectly fine. I'm glad to hear. Thank you for answering that. Yeah, that was one of my biggest concerns uh, for applying. Um, another uh, question that I have is I have a 122 cars. Is that a problem? Um, so my overall MCAT score, MCAT score is 505. Yeah, it, it could be. It could be depending on the school, depending on how each school evaluates an MCAT score and whether or not they look at subsection scores versus an overall score and if they have subsection cutoffs versus overall cutoffs. So it could be. Uh, my assumption, you, you said you're from Burma, so my assumption is that you're an ESL student, and ESL students, unfortunately, with the car section, tend to not do great. So I try to look for a school that, that won't have 122 car cutoff, so I try to apply you know, during that you know, broad range of schools. So how did how did, you, how did you how did you how did you find schools that you you knew what they cut off or didn't cut off? Um, so on MSR, like for some schools, they would actually write it out. Like they would say, you know, we don't accept any school any school lower than one hundred twenty two mm. or so. So okay, yeah. But if it's if it's good, like, reported, then I will still apply it just in case mm. uh, because I yeah. It's also because I qualify for FAP. Um, mm. I was able to apply for 20 schools free. Okay. Yeah. So I build off my list from that. Um, yeah. I, I'm really interested in primary care. So, so yeah. So, so, so for school, um, who emphasis, who emphasize on primary care, they have a lower MCAS code requirement. So, which, which actually works out for me at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, um, and for shadowing wise, uh, since I've been working as a scribe for a year or so, I haven't had done any shadowing. Um, so will that be um, a factor that they will look at? Like, should I put some shadowing? I, I think you have to have shadowing on your application. Like, I, I think you just, you have to. There are schools out there that will filter you out if you don't have any shadowing. So uh, even though you are a scribe and scribing is basically shadowing on steroids, I, I think you still need a separate activity that shows that you've done some shadowing. And if it's potentially all virtual at this point, I, I would at least do that. So try to do as much virtual shadowing as possible and then as much as you can in-person shadowing. Yeah, I think at this point, um, um, at this point, I don't think I can add that to my application since I already submitted. But I, but I did put some 
some virtual shadowing in my primary application. So hopefully that counts. Good. <laughs> Good yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and actually in Burma, like um, we only have until how can I say until until the tenth grade for high school. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really count as high school. How can I graduation in a way? So I. I'm I'm really worried about that. Um, so I put in my high school graduation date as you know, 2014, but but I but I actually didn't go for 11 and 12th grade. Will they look at it? Um, I don't think they yeah, care about that kind of I stuff. I can't really explain it. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't I don't think they care about that stuff. I think uh, y you uh, obviously were accepted to college here in the states. You did your college education here that's that's all that matters oh sounds great yes what a relief <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes i i think i think that's all i needed to ask <laughs> all right well good luck to you keep us posted thank you yes